Hello everybody, it's Helen, New England Thrifter. Um, this is going to be from the back of my car <laughs> this fall. Because basically what happened was um, my father-in-law is um, a long-time eBay, eBayer. Like, did it for years, did flea markets, did all that stuff. So he heard of a yard sale and he said I could probably get some good stuff on the cheap. So this is that yard sale haul. And he was right. I got some really good stuff. So let's start. So I don't usually do a lot of purses. But I got some. This is Dune, London. And look, at it's beautiful. It's a beautiful. I mean, it's, it probably needs to be cleaned up a little. But I'm not even going to do it. I'm just going to toss the price on it. I mean, it looks really. I almost want to keep this because I love the color and the texture. So, yeah, we got that. Then I got, someone's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm in the parking lot. Basically, I'm in the parking lot of my antique booth because I want to bring stuff in and price it. And so if the, if the popo show up and take me away, you'll know why. This is another Dooney, and this is a Dooney and Burke. Um, it's not in perfect shape. It's been well loved, but I love, I love the. Here it is the Dooney and Burke. I love the color. I love the texture. I know this is really there. We go kind of not ideal for a, a thrift haul, but it will have to do. So, at the end I'll tell you what I paid for everything, because I kind of lumped it together. So that's going, these are just going to go in the booth, because I don't feel like dealing with Poshmark and taking pictures and listing. And, and I'm thinking... Like it's got this has some ink on it, but they've been used. But they're still the thing about Dooney and Burke and, and better names is they last forever. This is Cole Hahn purse. So this has been used. So I think she said like this was a three four hundred dollar purse when she bought it. New. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna put like forty bucks on them and try to get them out. This is this is um, Dooney and Burke. Another Dooney and Burke. This is another one. I really like. like I said, it's, it's got some if you can see it. Cause it's, it's probably not. But it's got a little bit of ink spillage in there. So, like I said, they're not in perfect shape. But the leather looks really the leather is really awesome. And I don't think they go out of style. I think they're like vintage-y. Well, I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know how old these are. I think she's had them for a while, but. So yeah, so that's nice. This one I like, because this reminds me almost like a doctor's bag. It's a little squished, but this is Dooney and Burke too. I like should put a little freshener, freshener in there to keep it. Yeah. Yeah, this one's nice. I mean, they're all pretty good shape. But yeah, I'd rather just get a quick flip on them. I'd, I'd rather just, I'd like to keep it, but I don't really, I don't do a lot to really need purses. And, I'm not a fancy person. So these are all the more higher end purses I got from her. Which I'm going to sit out here, relax, and brace them in a little bit, and I'm done with this video. This one I got, this I paid up for. Well, I, I don't, not really. Because I, we ended up lumping it all together, but it's new. So, and I thought it was cute, and I thought someone might like it. Just a little bag. 
I don't do a lot of clothes. I used to. I used to have a Poshmark closet and a bunch of clothes, but I don't do that anymore. But I know cable knits in and fringe. So I did pick up. I don't know if you can see here. Let me see if I can walk back so you can see it. See, it's a long sweater. But it's really nice. It's Yawn Works. So, yeah. So, the detail, it's really... But it's really pretty. It's heavy. So, I don't know. I might put it in Poshmark. And then I got... This is lightweight, but... This is a pretty color. And it's a vintage sweater. It's Christy and Jill. Oh, you know what? Look at I didn't even see that. Look at this. See, I need to be more careful. I didn't even see that. But I didn't pay much for it. I'll still, I won't list it. I'll still put it in the booth. And um, It's large. It's made in Hong Kong. What attracted to me to this is it was vintage and the color. Um, and it was made, it's made from lamb's wool, angora, rabbit hair. Um, like I said, made in Hong Kong, but yeah, I don't know if it's even worth me. It's a shame because it's really pretty. It's large. I don't think it would fit me because I would wear it. So. I don't know. I've got so much stuff. So I just thought this was cute. Little art glass piece. I got look, it looked like some of it came off, but it's just a little horse. And half the sticker is on it. But it's cute. I don't know if it went with something else. It's got a little, you know. This, I sold one of these for a good price not long ago. ago. It's a milk glass rooster. Or hen, not rooster. Hen on nest. And it needs to be cleaned up a little. It doesn't say Fenton or anything, so I'm not sure. But... I have a little area of milk glass because people seem to like it, so that will go in. I'm not even sure how much I put in that. Probably not a lot. I'm trying to move stuff because I get more stuff. So, this is what I'm showing you here. The jewelry. I got a bunch of jewelry. A bunch of brooches, actually. basic little heart brooch with a little bling on it. This I might keep. I say that. I probably won't. It's a newer piece, but it's a little teapot. A little cup of tea. And my mother was a Brit, so it's kind of, I'm kind of fond of the teapot and the English stuff. Okay. This doesn't have any kind of, this isn't signed, but I love the colors. It's blue, little, little brooch. Here's another little unsigned brooch. It's really pretty. I think it's a basket. Um, 
I just thought this was cute. It's not signed. It looks like a newer piece. It looks older from the side, but it looks fairly new. It's a little poodle. That is so adorbs. This is a giraffe, a lion, and a tiger. So, then I might lock these up. Oh, I don't drop it. Hold on. Okay. So, I got this little pin, little elephant pin, and the pin is. I don't know what you call that kind of. Let's see if you can get it. There you go. That kind of pin, but then this is cool. Again, no signature to it. Just a little elephant pin. sure it works. This has, I can't see, These, this does have initials on it, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up, but another elephant pin, really cute. And then, oh, this was a pin but it broke. This is a broken piece, but I'm sure I can like figure something out. This is pretty. So yeah, so I have to be more careful. I did kind of. So let's see, and I still got more stuff. Like it's unbelievable the stuff I got. I don't know if this stuff was in like the farmhouse stuff, but I got this crate. It's heavy. For the booth. And then I got this stuff. Yeah. I got this old like a tool. Box. I just thought it would be great for some kind of assemblage or deco oh my God. decor. I need a cup of coffee. Definitely need a cup of coffee. Then I got this little shoe. I I don't usually pick those up. It's a price on it, but I, like I said, I lotted everything together. I just like the color. The color is really spectacular. The blue. Got a couple more things to show you. And then I gotta get pricing. I gotta clean this up, but I got this to go in my booth. Because I'll clean it up and I'll put jewelry in there, I think. And I'll still sell it. It's heavy. It's a good, good little piece there. I got. I got this. Now my um, father-in-law was there and he had some stuff there and he was helping. Um, and he's saying that this was probably from the 50s. And I got it because I love the little graphic on there. The little, little gnome, elf, pixie, whatever you want to call him. So I just thought that was cute. This was in a separate lot, this bag. So I paid separately for this. So this, this was $2. And the rest of it, I don't know. More purses because I just thought it was cute. And they're easy to, to throw a price on, put them in the booth. And I do pretty good, so. 
This I just liked because of the, the detail on it. I mean, it's probably not high, high end, but it's really, it's really nice. Uh, let's see. This is the sack, just a crochet bag, and I just sold one. So I figured I'd get this and, and replace it. So, again, just kind of like a wool bag. But I thought it was really pretty. Some folly stuff. Um, this is really lightweight, but I just thought it was cute. This I want to keep. I told you I was fond of everything England and London, and, and this is a London bag. Probably, like I said, it's called Made in, it's just Made in London. It's probably not expensive at all, but I'll throw maybe 10 bucks on it. And this still had the price on it, and it is a... Oh, this was sold at Foxwoods, the casino. Medina? Simply Country. And it's just a really cute little throw blanket. I don't know if you can see if it's too dark. So it was originally, it said like $42. I might just throw 20 on it and call it a day. So I think that's everything I got. So I paid for everything. I paid probably, let's see, 138 bucks. But I figured the purses alone, I'll well make that all back. So. That's it, everyone. That was my awesome yard sale haul. Um, please like and subscribe. And I'm sending love and light your way. And please take care of each other. Um, and that's it for now. Have a great day. Bye.